everyone welcome to another video we're just sitting on the settings screen because this game goes into demo mode very quickly just so i can talk for a second i cannot get enough garfield lately so i thought i would make another garfield video in the past i've already played garfield's scary scavenger hunt on my channel I've also played Garfield Kart and Lasagna Party offline, but there's a ton of other Garfield games I've never explored. And a lot of them are actually not very good. So I went on the internet and on Reddit and I looked to see what a lot of people's favorite games were. And this game kept coming up. So I decided it would be interesting to check out what most people seem to consider the best Garfield game. So this is Garfield Caught in the Act for Genesis. It's pretty old. It's from 1995. I had never heard of it before today, so, um, yeah, let's give it a try. I don't know what this difficulty setting means, but it was defaulted to Kitty, so we're gonna stay on Kitty. <laughs> Alright, let's dive into the game. Oh my god, what does all this mean? Uh... So food is health bonus, a mallet key, we have invincibility, invincibility looks like it's coffee. Um, ammunition is all sorts of random crap, extra life is Garfield, way marker is Pookie, and I don't know what the TV remote means. Is this it? Okay. This is the end of our broadcast day. Bark! Oh, the TV is broken. Wow, is it ever. It's just a pile of garbage now. If we can't fix it, we're in trouble. I think it's Odie's fault. There, all fixed. Sort of. <laughs> Oops, extra parts. Let's just throw those away. We don't need them anymore. Hey! What is happening in this picture? Bzzzt. I think Garfield's getting electrocuted. I'm in the TV! Oh, are you gonna be like that kid in... Willy Wonka and come out too small. <laughs> you have to be stretched out. Okay, so I guess this is what the inside of the TV looks like. Um, oh jeez. Immediately I fell. Okay. There's lots of- Oh! That's a spring. I thought that was just for show. Looks like there's a lot of dangerous stuff to look out for. Okay, I can hang on to this. It looks kind of like an old school phone cable. Back when people had landline phones, not a cell phone. Three, two, one. Count Slobula's castle. Does that mean it's going to be really messy? <laughs> oh my god! This kind of reminds me of, uh... Oh jeez. Garfield's... Is it spooky or scary? Scary scavenger hunt? Um... Wait, wait, why is the- why is there- there a clock? Am I running out of time? I seem to be able to attack with the candle. Um... I don't really understand- oh, maybe this thing will take me out? Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, I thought I had to pull the cord. Never mind, I don't get it. There we go. I'm really bad at defending myself. I don't actually know what- Oh, is my health maybe? Okay, my health is the TV. At the top of the screen. Oh, shit. Okay. What I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my own failure is that um, my health is the TV at the top of the screen. There's a hell of a lot going on right now. Um... Oh my god. I don't... Okay. I wasn't sure whether I should be, like, throwing things. Because there's, like, a throw button, which seems to reduce my number of skeletons, which seems bad. And then I have a candle. And I can jump. I just noticed I'm at one health. Yeah, I'm sorry, Garfield. I, I saw that coming. Oh my god! He's trapped in the TV forever? That is actually really dark. Especially for someone who loves TV so much. I, I don't know what the hand is pointing at. We'll just, we'll just keep going. 
Okay, I love the vibes of this. It's very hard, but I'm getting it, sort of. Oh man, there's there's so many obstacles to look out for. Okay, I think I need to pull the other string. Because it seems like once I pull them, that's when good things happen. By good things, I mean I can escape. Those ghosts kind of remind me of Mario, except I don't understand their movement. You know, the booze. Oh my god, I, I saw that! I saw that and I still failed. At least I'm getting this. This is going better than my first run, if I do say so myself. I mean, here I am with two health, so I don't know. I'm gonna die anyway. Hey, Pookie! Pookie's good, right? He's just spinning. Um, okay, we'll keep going. Yeah, I'm trapped in the TV. We get it. <laughs> I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Oh, Pookie's a checkpoint! Perfect! Well, progress has been made. I only have one life left, though. Oh, man. See, the problem is the skeletons are really difficult to avoid. And then once I've avoided them, uh, I fall down holes. Okay. Did that do it? There we go. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Man, I like I thought I saw that too, and I couldn't I couldn't figure out how to jump over it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um am I just trapped here forever? This is gonna put me back before that, and then somehow, somewhere. It's that whole area, but I can only single jump. I'm confused. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Wait, wait, don't leave without me. It left without me. And... Okay. I made it. I made it. I just suck at jumping. Pookie! How do I get to Pookie? He is good. I don't know. Oh. Again, just gotta not suck at jumping. Just something I apparently can't figure out. Okay, I'm trying- I'm just- I should just leave it, right? I should just let it go. Oh, I saw that coming, too. I don't remember what the coffee meant. I remember it was a good thing. Man. Skeletons are everywhere. Oh. Okay. I feel like I'm really far back now, though. Let's see where I end up. If I'm back at that gap of no return, I'm gonna be really mad. Okay, no, I'm not good. I'm just back at the checkpoint. I'm going longer without dying, though. I'm figuring this out. Sucks that you can't jump on enemies' heads. In general, I'm finding- Oh, Pookie, yes! I'm finding enemies are quite difficult to avoid. No! Oh! 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 The phone, right? Oh, it's a remote. It's not a phone. My bad. <laughs> hey, look, it's Odie! Oh, it's Odie! Oh! He's he's Count Slobula! I think that was the name? I don't think I stand a chance with my one life, but I'll try. I'll try for cats everywhere. In my obsession with Garfield lately, I've been doing a Garfield coloring page, and I didn't realize- I would always describe Garfield as orange. And I didn't realize how, like, not that orange he is. He's, like, somewhere between yellow and orange, and I didn't have a color that really matched him. I don't even know if I'm damaging him right now. All I have is my stupid candle attack. 
And I can throw skulls, but I have a finite number of skulls. I don't go very far either. And I only have two hit points left. It's not going well. No. <laughs> Whoa! I just disappeared. Yes, I want to continue. Of course I do. I only have three continues left, too? This is harsh. It seems like I'm damaging him with the candle. But I don't know for sure. How did I still get hurt? I jumped him. Hmm. Maybe I do need to hit him with the skull. That's what I'm gonna try next. If I could remember what button it was. Dang it. I have no idea if that did anything. I don't like- I can't tell when I hurt him, so I don't know if- if what I'm doing is doing anything! I died again. And it seems like I can't really move and use my candle at the same time very well. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. There's just so much to dodge. Even if I manage to hit him, I hurt myself and I don't understand. I'm hoping when he goes into the coffins it means I hurt him, but I honestly don't know for sure. Okay, I could not figure this out, so I looked up a video, and apparently you can open the blinds somehow when he's in the coffin, and then you like- I don't- I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I can figure this out. I'm still taking way too much damage from the bats, but let's see. So you like jump, and then I guess you press a button? I don't know which button, though. They made it look so easy in the video. Alright, I'm gonna try and figure this out. <laughs> wow, you literally just have to jump straight up to open the blinds. I had to, like, look up a text guide because I couldn't figure it out. I feel so stupid. At least I get that now. At least I finally figured it out. I can't believe there was, like, no button press or anything required. With all of this, I'm probably still gonna have to do this over and over again to actually get it. Ah! If I hadn't screwed that up, I probably would've been okay. Maybe this time I'll get it. See, I just don't understand <laughs> why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm trying to be very, very precise with my jumps just to make sure it works. Honestly, with how difficult it is even with me knowing how to do it, I feel a little less stupid. Very easy to hurt yourself on the way back down, too, if you don't get all the bats. Man, it's so easy to not do that. I was so ready for him and I still screwed it up. Oh, a hamburger! Nom. <laughs> Health. Sometimes I'll have a great run and sometimes it'll look like this, where I take damage from literally everything. Yes! Does that mean it's over? Please be over. Please, please, please be over. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Ah, oh, That was hard even with- what? 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 How do I control what I- 
There was like, oh my god, everything's happening so fast right now. Am I supposed to be doing something? Commercial break. Collect 18 pookies. Oh, okay. So what, oh my god. Oh, this is going so fast. This is actually really cool, though. I'm meaning to comment on to this game. Not enough pookies. I tried, okay. I tried. Um, this game looks really good for its age. Like, the animations and everything. I'm very impressed. Um... I'm finding it difficult to tell what I ooh, what I can and cannot jump on. Uh, is this where I want to go? Hopefully. <laughs> it's somewhere. It's somewhere that's not here. Three, two, one. Revenge of Orange Beard. <gasps> Pirate themed! There's a Halloween special where Garfield is Orange Beard the Pirate, and it's amazing. I watch it every year. Oh my god. Okay, the like, the vibes in this game are immaculate, even though it's difficult as hell. This is kind of like. Oh shit. This is kind of like the Super Mario 3 bolt levels. Oh, and he has a sword now! Okay. If this game wasn't so hard, and I know it's old, if I didn't suck so much, this is incredible. Like, the the themes and everything. I was reading about it and I saw it. Jim Davis was very involved with this game. Um, which is possibly why it's so wonderfully Garfield. But this is perfect! He's got his pirate out, he's got his sword. This feels- oh, hamburger. This feels like really, really Garfield. Uh, I'm not sure how I was supposed to get by that without taking damage, but... Basically, I can't do anything without taking damage in this game, so... I got a Pookie, though, so when we die, at least we have that. Man, I am loving the way this level looks, even though I'm horrendous at it. Oh, I made it to another Pookie! Perfect! And immediately died! That's okay. At some point, I will run out of continues, but, um, we're okay for now. Can you not cheap shot me the second I, like, that's the original spawn kill, that skeleton. Someday that skeleton will grow up and play Call of Duty and spawn kill everybody. Okay! Uh... So you only have a second with each platform. Oh, I got a bonus life, though. Did everybody see that? That is probably the most skilled thing I'm gonna do this entire game. Because that was just like, regular platforming. And I can do regular platforming. I can't do avoiding a hundred obstacles as they appear. But... <laughs> Wait! The boat left me behind! Uh, Garfield says, Drat! I forgot! I can't swim! Or something along those lines. And then he has no Odie to save him! And it's all over! Am I taking damage? Where did my boat go? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> ah, I spawned with my boat, thankfully. I don't recall monkeys in the original version of this. My boat's leaving behind again! Wait! Wait! I don't re I wish I could remember what the coffee did. I know there was one screen at the very beginning that gave me a breakdown of the benefit of each thing. Uh, but I can't be expected to remember it for that long. Okay, the turtles disappear after a second. Everything hates me! That's the moral of this game. When in doubt, everything hates you. It's a good lesson for life, too. No, I don't think everybody hates me. You, whoever is watching, probably doesn't. Or you could be hate-watching this. I'm sure that is a thing. And if you're hate-watching this, well, thanks for the view anyway. <laughs> Why is that hand pointing me up? I can't jump that high. I feel like- Whoa! What the hell? 
Okay, so you can jump off plants. Plants are bouncy. I just thought the, the hand was mocking me, if I'm being entirely honest. Okay, now the jungle vibes, I don't recognize. Um, but we could be deviating from Halloween Garfield theme at this point. It, further to my Garfield obsession, because I really am obsessed with Garfield right now, um, I'm watching Garfield and Friends, which is like a really old Garfield cartoon, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. That's basically all I had for that, but it's comforting and I enjoy it. Oh, Pookie's up there. Hang on, Pookie, I'm coming. Oh, or I will- Whoa! I have no explanation for what just happened to me. I love that! He's like- he just like pushed again- I can't make it happen again. He just pushed against the tree because he couldn't continue that way. Oh, Pookie. Perfect. Let's get that Pookie. I feel like this level feels very non-linear and <laughs> I'm a little lost. Did Garfield just make a farting noise when he landed? That's what it sounded like. Man. It's like the moral the goal of this level is to just make me lost. Okay, 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 we're okay, we're okay. Let's bounce off this. There we go. Up. Thank you, hand. There's another Pookie up there, if I can get to it. I don't see a way to get up, though. Because the only way I know of to get up is the bouncy plants. What if I... I'm trying to figure out how to throw the bombs. There we go. Oh no! No! I fell and I don't... <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, so we are back here, and if you recall, why could I not jump up here? I swear last time I couldn't jump this high. I hit my head. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, make it stop. I don't like how you just go flying when you land in the water. It's very, very confusing. Okay, plant, I'm gonna kill you again. Jump off of you. Get up here. And then... I don't know after that. It's about as far as my brain has gotten with this. I know my general goal is to get higher, but making that happen is a real challenge. I liked the boat part better than the jungle part. <laughs> I don't like the jungle. Okay, if I can not screw this up. There's a Pookie up there. Why can't- see it like- Why? Why could I jump up at one point and not here, right? Okay, I made it to the Pookie. All is not lost. Okay. Um, the birds would stop attacking me. I can see I need to get up here. And then possibly to that next branch. All right, so far so good. Man, there's a lot of hazards. Okay. I don't like this because now that I've made it this high, it feels like if I make a mistake, I'm screwed. Why is there a skeleton in the jungle? Like that. Ugh. I don't like this level design. This is like, this is, I think this is the thing I've liked the least so far. I loved the boat part and the like vibes of the graveyard section was great. It was really cool. And then this part is just annoying. That's my opinion, my review so far. Obviously I had a really hard time with the Dracula fight, but that could have just been my brain not, you know, understanding the retro style. Okay, I made it to another Pookie. That is good. Um, looks like I need to go up. Uh, for those of you not versed in Garfield lore, 
Pookie is his teddy bear. And I feel quite a bit of a kinmanship with his love for Pookie because I really love Sackboy and I have a Sackboy plushie that I adore. So I can I can relate, you know? I honestly don't even know if I'm making progress anymore. <laughs> Where are my helpful pointer hands when I need them? Okay, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. I've just got to be very, very careful. Why is it saying down? I just did all this work. I just did all this work to get all the way up here. Oh my god, what's happening? And it wants me to go down? Well, this looks different at least, so hopefully that means I've gone the right way. Oh, we're back to like a boat- no, not a boat section, just water. For a second I thought it was gonna be one of those cool boot boat sections again. This one has like scary disappearing platforms, which adds a lot of stress. What is this? Okay, so I can make my own platforms? That's pretty cool. I should have waited for the plant to come closer, shouldn't I have? Will it wake back up at some point? Plant, I need you. I re oh, oh, he can grab ledges. I didn't expect that either. This game has a lot for its age, honestly. Meanwhile, right now I'm playing Epic Mickey, which uh, I have never played before. And I was surprised by how, by how crappy the like edge grabbing detection was. Oh, a treasure chest. Okay, whoa, what is happening? Is this like a, if this is a boss battle, I'm truly screwed. Um, with the disappearing pat platforms and everything. Okay. Just, oh, jeez, that escalated quickly. <laughs> okay. Okay, so far, so far the beans of my existence are the boss battles in that forest section. I've actually enjoyed the rest of this game quite a bit. Uh, but I'm, I, I wasn't liking those too much. Okay, like, can I just like... Hang on. Can I just throw skulls at him until he dies? That seemed to work. Okay, spamming bombs worked, except I ran out of health. Okay, so I, th I think I just need to spam bombs then, and I'll be okay. Except that I keep dying- I keep taking damage here. Well, whatever, let's just- just panic spam bombs and hope for the best. Part of my problem here- <laughs> shit! Is I find by like today's standards, and this is an old game, but the controls feel really unintuitive, you know? Oh, I just, just did it. My real problem with this one is I don't- they don't tell you what button maps to like what- what thing. So I can't- I can't figure that one out. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just suck at that part. What else is new, am I right? <laughs> okay. Let's try this pookie thing again. This one feels like the speed of like Sonic or something, which I guess makes sense. This is on Genesis, right? Not enough Pookies. Well, you know what? Pookie still loves me. There are enough Pookies in my heart. Okay, I want to see what the next area looks like at least. So we'll get to the next area. I can't, again, I can't always tell what's going to be a platform. This is again surprisingly detailed. I think this game looks really good for its age. And, uh, I am quite impressed. Alright, let's see what the next adventure is. Cave Cat. This is a comic that I never really enjoyed much. Like, there are some Garfield comics that are set, like, like, Caveman. 
and they did this with spongebob too and which by the way going back on garfield i watched an episode that like was very very like it looked like spongebob was inspired by it there's a spongebob episode where they're playing in a cardboard box there's like a very similar Garfield episode, and this this Garfield episode is much older, obviously. So I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah, my point being that Spyro. Er, did I say Spyro? I didn't mean Spyro. If I said Spyro at any point, I don't know why I just said Spyro. Uh, <laughs> my point being that uh, what is my point? <laughs> I got distracted when I fell. Oh, that, that some of the stuff that Spongebob does, it feels like Garfield did first. Not to say it's necessarily stolen. I mean, that's just how life works, but... This part looks and sounds really cool. I'll play this part until I get frustrated, and then that'll probably be a good time to end the video. Because I'm trying, I'm trying to... I haven't filmed much lately because I've been really busy. And I'm going to try and play games that I really want to play, which Garfield felt very fitting for that. And, um, what is happening here? I don't know. Um, I'm trying to, like, hopefully be able to edit my videos a little bit less. Like, there'll be less cuts and stuff. And just film for a little bit less time. Um, just to help me get videos out faster and not feel like I'm spending all my time editing. I hope that makes sense. I don't understand when it's- Oh, maybe I have to jump on the fish. There we go! Wait. Or not. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing with that because I feel like I'm onto something there. Can I like- Yeah! I can move the fish around! Handy! Okay, I figured it out. See? I figured it out. Shit. Okay, let's try that again. I think I had to like not screw up the timing of my jump there. Okay, this is very awkward. It's like, it's a bit drifty, so like, it feels very easy to screw up. And then I also need to jump off. Okay, I did it. I feel very accomplished right now. That was, that was awkward. I'm gonna grab this hamburger. So far, this is actually not as difficult as the last section I played. I still don't know what coffee does. Maybe it's temporary invincibility? That sounds familiar. I thought that was going to lead back down to a, a fish section, but it didn't. Uh, this seems bad. How far back? Ooh, a life! It's all worth it. It's always good to get a life. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, the hand is telling me to go up here. And when has when the hand ever led me wrong? After all that, I just like jumped up and jumped high enough. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Maybe that will help me. Okay, here we go, here we go. Progress is being made. Oh, I'm already through this section, jeez. need this? This music's very ominous sounding. Okay, is this not like- There's Super Mario 3 levels where this guy just follows you the whole time and attacks you. I can't remember his name though, but it's very annoying. I don't know why we're climbing bright yellow goo. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Honestly, this game is quite fun. I'm I'm enjoying this. Again, uh, for its age, I think it looks very good. There's another game that I've been thinking about playing that's also on Genesis. Uh, there's a Wayne's World game on Genesis. I've been planning a Wayne's World video for like ever, and I still haven't filmed it. There's several Wayne's World games, and I was gonna play them all, and it was gonna be a fun time. Why does this bounce sometimes, and it doesn't always bounce? I don't get this. Maybe it's based on where I land on it. I have to 
land near the outside. That seems to be it. But yeah, I don't I don't think the Wayne's World game looks as good as the point I was trying to get at, but I haven't actually played it yet, so I don't know. I'm afraid. Uh, do I just jump for my life here? Okay, there's more down here. But this hand's telling me to go up. Hmm. Okay, I promised myself I would f film for a shorter time, but I'm still enjoying this, so... <laughs> but then I have more video to edit. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I'll just keep going for now. One thing I've been struggling with this with this is like with this with this, because that makes sense. Um, is I like once I'm on something, I'm having a hard time figuring out how to jump off of it. Okay, so this boss is dinosaur Odi. There's a weird catapult for some reason. Okay, okay, I bet I have to launch this at him. Um, let's try it. Yeah! Okay, now that he's down here, I don't know what to do. Leave me alone. Maybe I have to launch him? No, I don't know. Death. That was the solution. Try this one more time, I probably won't figure it out. And then we're gonna call that a good stopping point. I dodged that. The shadow was to the left. And he jumps down here and I am at a loss what to do. Maybe I throw bones at him? Oh! I figured it out. I'm so proud of myself. but I don't have another boulder. There it is. Maybe I'll be able to do this. And then I'm never gonna end this video. I'm gonna spend the whole- Oh, I didn't aim, see? Well, maybe I am gonna die. I thought I could make it and I didn't. I was like, I have time. Hopefully this is all I need to do is just keep going up and down until something happens. I died. All right, we're gonna call this a good stopping point. I actually had a ton of fun with this, especially considering its age. I think that it looks really good. I like how many different eras of Garfield are explored here, like as someone who likes the classic comics and everything. Um, I think this is really cool. I understand why people like this game. I would honestly love to explore more Garfield games on this channel and it might be something I do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope that uh, it gets some interest because I think I'd have fun exploring both the good and bad of Garfield because there's a lot. Like there's ones that go back as far as like the 80s, I believe, because this one's from like 93 or something and there's ones older than this. And then there's ones as new as like the last few years. Um, I've played a lot of the newer ones, but they're not great, but they're still Garfield. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this, I did play another Garfield game on this channel, uh, the Scary Scavenger Hunt game. I played it a couple of years ago, so check that out. And remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'm getting really close to 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!